Hello, everyone. Hit it! Hello, my beloved kings and queens. My name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of La Joy Truck Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with a how to make DIY. I'm going to show y'all how to make a ring using this base right here. For those of you who watched the video that I did yesterday, I got these from Amazon. I will uh, make sure or try to make sure that I put the information to this ring and am uh, that I got from Amazon. Okay, you're gonna need about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're gonna need about twelve cowrie shells. Okay, twelve cowrie shells, and you're gonna need a paintbrush. Now you can use some gla glass gloss glaze. Uh, it's truly up to you. You don't necessarily have to if you don't want to, okay? I am using clay, and I'm using black and red clay, and you're going to need a piece of aluminum foil, and aluminum foil, you're going to need that for when you put your, um, your clay in your ring in the oven, okay? So... The very first thing that you have to do is you have to knead your um your clay, and I have already done that. All right, so I'm gonna move my shells over to the side. Excuse, excuse my nose, y'all. It's acting a little funny, and I'm just gonna take these two pieces because I have already kneaded them, and I'm gonna bring them together, twist them together, just like this. Like I said, this ring is going to be like a unisex ring, so. A male or female can wear this ring. I'm just going to continue to twist it. Just like this. And that's what you're going to hit. Now I'm going to bring these two pieces together. Actually, I'm sorry, y'all. Bring these two pieces together. Excuse my nose. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out like this. Okay. I'm just going to roll it. All right. See how pretty these are? When you put colors together and you just make, you roll them together, they can, they be making some real beautiful. Look at that. All right. Just roll it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it up just like this in a circular motion. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to fold it over and I'm gonna take it and put it into a ball. So I'm gonna roll it in a ball. And I'm gonna roll it until I like that's what I'm going to go with right there. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on its face. So, I'm going to take my paper. And I'm going to place that on its face. And I'm going to take my ring. And you got to make sure that you put it so, place it on your clay where it's going to be fitting on your finger. I'm going to take and press it down just like this. And I'm going to continue to press it until it starts really going down inside my clay. Okay. 
Now that's what you should have. I hope that's not too dark. Now I'm going to pick it up. And when you pick it up, it's going to be flat. Okay, this is pretty much what your ring is going to look like at first. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do as I'm gonna start putting on my seashells. So I wanna you wanna hold your ring like this, like I said, to make sure that it's going to fit on your finger. And I'm gonna come up to the top and I wanna make an unk. So I wanna make sure that all of my shells are pretty much the same size. Okay, so my unk is gonna look like this on my ring. So I'm gonna take and place this one right here. And I wanna, you wanna squeeze it down inside the clay. All right, make sure that this goes completely down in the clay because if it doesn't, when it goes, when you um, put it in the oven and after it finish molding, it will pop out on you. So you have to make sure that your, uh, your shells are, are down in your clay. Okay, and I have one more for this side right here. And this is my unk. Okay, y'all, so I decided not to use um, all 12 of the shells. I am only going to go with eight, okay? And I have my unk right here, like I said, and I'm going to put one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, and one on this side, okay? Just like this, just making sure that you swish it, squeeze it all the way in, okay? And then I'm going to put one over on this side. And then I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes on 275 degrees. And as you can see, here's our ring. Make sure that you go... Okay, your ring is going to be... When you put your ring on, it's going to, you're going to put it on this way. Make sure you come and you squeeze the clay down flat on this side. You turn it around and you do the same thing on the other side so that when you go to put your ring on, you won't have any problems, okay? So I'm gonna put this in the oven on 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, y'all, so once you take it out of the oven, you really have to let it sit and cool off, okay? If you try to touch it, if you try to fool with it, if you try to mess with it before then, you will get burnt, okay? Now, this is optional. I am going to be using this uh, Scalpe um, Gloss Glaze, and I'm, I am going to put a coat of this on my ring and just in between okay just in between my um my clay and the reason why i'm doing this like i said this is optional you don't necessarily have to do this but i just want to give my ring a little shine so i'm gonna go ahead and do this part of uh do this part and then I'm going to come back with the end result. 
Okay, y'all, so here is our end result of the ring. Look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try it on for you all. I'll open it up just a tad bit. I'll try to anyway. I'm gonna slide it on my finger. Should put it on this one. And there you have it. This is a big ring. Now, what I'm gonna say to y'all is I made another one like this. This one I did, I put the coral shells all the way around. And that's what this one looks like. Now, what I am going to say is that you can make this ring in so many different colors. You can do it in so many different colors. You can add more shells. You can do one shell in the middle if you want to. But I just wanted to make an onk. I wanted to put that onk right there. And then just put these shells around it. And I think it turned out really, really nice really nice so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this how to make diy tutorial uh go make plenty and i want to say thank you all for joining me if you are new and this is your very first time please subscribe uh, make sure you also give this video a thumbs up like and a share and until the next one, my beloved kings and queens, peace and blessings. See ya.